We were lucky enough to be asked to go to Finland to cook some barbecue this year. We had an amazing time with Patrick and Aaron Fegis, with Brad, with Aki and his team at Miller's Barbecue in Hamen Lena. And we just took in every single thing there was to take in in Finland. The sauna culture, the fish, the everything. It was an amazing trip. It started off with a very, very long flight from Chicago to Helsinki. There was some meh, decent food on the flight. But when, we, when I finally landed in Helsinki, the first stop was to go to Cafe Regatta, a... Somebody feed Phil stop. This was a really cool little spot in Helsinki, right on the water. Coffee, really good drinks, had some other little kind of Finnish snacks, had a reindeer pie, had some salmon pie. Uh, really just a first initial kind of introduction to a completely different culture, Scandinavian Nordic culture up here in Finland. We just had such a good time, had such an amazing experience with Aki, the chef and owner at Miller's, and his entire team. There he is right there, Cafe Regatta. When we sat down there, there were people like paddling in the ocean. It was a little bit windy, a little bit chilly, but you know they're they're out there they're doing their thing this is this is Finnish culture right here guys this is what it is right here the first day I was in Helsinki I kinda just hung out in the city met up with a friend of mine who was in town from St. Petersburg this was just right on the bay right kind of in the afternoon evening I checked out this little market that was serving some food Saw some of these hot dogs and saw these incredible looking little fried fish. I could not pass those up. So I had to get a little bite skis of some of those guys. I don't exactly know what they are. I don't remember exactly what they were called. But it was just little tiny fried fish with a little delicious dipping sauce. There's the seagull that attacked me minutes later. I got this nice little boat of fried fish and then that seagull that you just saw like clamped down on some of these and just like attacked me on my head and my shoulders so that was fun and exciting and interesting of course the first thing you got to check out when you go to any new city is a brewery i was at this helsinki brewery they had some really good drinks really good lagers and of course a bunch of hot wings i guess <laughs> i didn't have any of the wings but i just uh sat down to a uh, beer or two chilled out in the beer garden there and it was a great time we actually went back to that place later and somebody just recognized brad they were like are you chud and we uh all got a big kick out of it kind of walked a little bit on the promenade here saw a bunch of statues saw a bunch of stuff that there was to see and popped into another little local beer bar grabbed another little brewski before it was time to have some dinner here at Lapi Raventola. Raventola is a restaurant in Finnish and Lapi is a Lapish restaurant. Lapish is like the northern part of Finland, the kind of more rural part of Finland. This was a really cool restaurant, very old school style. This was one of the best bites I ate on the entire trip. This smoked salmon dish with mushroom gravy and just a little bit of boiled potatoes. Very simple, very good. The next morning, I checked out this uh, old school kind of market hall, bunch of sliced fish, bunch of marinated herring, a bunch of really good stuff. I met up with my friend Alexi, and we had a little bit of a lunch, a little bit of a shrimp scoggin. There he is. Check out uh, Smoke Barbecue in St. Petersburg if you don't know what it is. Had a little bit of more fun in Helsinki before it was time to go to Hamin Lena. Hamin Lena is a little town uh, about an hour's drive north of Helsinki. It is um, a great little community where Miller's Barbecue is and we got the opportunity to stay at Vanayan Lena which is 
Kind of an old school castle. The F1 driver Kimi Raikkonen got married here, so it's a nice place. It's a golf resort. You'll see more of that later. This is where we kind of drove in, had a great time there. The accommodations were incredible. After we kind of got settled, we grabbed a train in Hamid Lena, about another hour's north to Tampere. Tampere is a another town in Finland. It's more of a city. It's kind of a bigger city. Uh, just coming out of the train station here, you can see it's a little bit of a bigger city. Got a great tour there. Met up with some of Aki's friends who own this bar. Had a couple drinks. Had a great time there. Walked around. And we really came here because we wanted to go to a sauna restaurant. That's right. They have the combo sauna restaurant. Sauna culture in Finland is massive. And they have a lot of restaurants here uh there in finland where you can go in the sauna go hang out go have a great time and then go have a nice little meal right after that to replenish what you've lost what you've sweated out in the sauna but this was really cool it's right on the river amazing city had a really great time the weather was incredible here we were taking a nice reprieve from the very hot texas heat at the time so the chilly temperatures were very welcome this particular sauna restaurant was positioned along the river you just saw so we would go into the sauna and then catch that cold plunge into the river we had a very nice dinner here right afterward and of course brad had to jump on the karaoke mic uh, the next day we decided to do a little bit of fishing out on the exact same river so Brad's getting it nice and tight right up there in the crotchal region and we were all ready to do some fishing. None of us caught anything, uh, but that's okay. We still had a great time. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. We had Brad, we had Patrick Fegis and Aaron Fegis. We had Nick Bones from the Chud crew. We had Aki out there and then we also had the captain of the boat who was in Finnish tradition um, pretty quiet and did not offer much in the way of conversation. After maybe an hour or hour and a half or so of fishing we took a, about another hour or hour and a half trip up the river to a winery out uh, a little bit north of Hamenlena and the winery was really cool this place did it's not grapes winery it's just like a bunch of berries that grow in finland so the wines are pretty sweet they're pretty interesting it's pretty different than what you would normally expect from a winery but it was really interesting and we had a great time and the drinks were really really good on the way back brad had the ability to fulfill one of his dreams which was to grill on a boat to eat on a boat we weren't grilling the fish that we caught on the boat so it's not exactly 100 percent the dream that we're looking for but brad my man still did an excellent job grilling up the sausages for the ride back we also had some really good and really interesting finnish mustard and other kind of accoutrement to throw on our little sausages that we put on the grill the next day it was time for the class we were over there to do a dinner and teach a barbecue class so it was really great to get in front of some of the people of finland there were a lot of chefs in the class so that was really exciting to be around they were all really interested in learning about barbecue learning everything we had to say patrick was super helpful as far as teaching them how this pit works because it's an oiler i don't really know very much about it it's a rotisserie it has an exhaust vent but he was very helpful as far as teaching everybody like how that specific rotisserie worked it's always interesting to teach classes in different areas because you don't know what kinds of questions are going to be asked or what kind of like initial experience that anybody has going into it but it was a really good class there were a lot of people who were really interested in what we were doing and just how you know texas barbecue functions like they don't have any real experience on how to relate to that so kind of bringing people in is always what we're excited to do with that we obviously served them a really good spread 
we had brisket we had chicken we had ribs we had all everything uh, and it was a fantastic class it went really really well of course we got to give a shout out to long drink we drank a lot of long drink when we were over in finland if you haven't tried that definitely go try it the next day i was lucky enough to get a tea time with a couple of the guys from miller's barbecue and we got to tee it up at one of the nicest courses in europe it's eight o'clock this morning we are at the hotel castle golf resort and getting ready to play one of the nicest courses in europe the nicest course in finland money on Leno, let's go of course a beautiful pro shop here had everything you ever need of i definitely got a little bit of merchandise there had to rent some clubs a little left handy rental set here i definitely made do with it i did not make it proud okay update i'm playing with tommy the pit master at miller's barbecue and sila who's the general manager at miller's barbecue Tommy and I are comparable in skill, seal is much better, and I am plus six through two. We're on the fifth hole of the day, I just had my first good drive. Everything else has been trash. I'm playing on like a championship level course, I'm not a good golfer, so not expecting myself to be good, but it's fun, it's foggy, the weather is absolutely beautiful, and I'm having a great time. The halfway house selections at this course were very good, to be completely honest. A lot of fresh made locally made stuff the hot dog bar is just out there big long delicious dogs and a bunch of amazing toppings okay back nine hole 11 tee shot just went way off to the right but i finished the first nine 24 over for 59. back nine just teed off on 17 I'm trying to stay under 120 we'll see the ceo of the entire golf course hotel resort just showed up he was supposed to play with us today but he had some other stuff going on so really trying not to embarrass myself in front of this man okay just finishing up the round here at vanian lena golf club in hamelina Finland. Probably the nicest course in Finland. Probably the nicest course I've ever played on. Finished with a 118, which is bad for me, but good for me for a championship course. Did what I normally do, which is play horribly on the front nine. Get used to it a little bit. And then finally found my stroke. Finally got used to the clubs, kind of on the back nine. Had a great time. I cannot say enough good things about Vanayan Lena, the resort, golf course, hotel where we stayed. It was just an incredible retreat right on the lake, a beautiful resort. Look at the fog just rolling off of the lake there. You can jump in a kayak, do a little bit of pedaling. Uh, there were some beautiful ducks there. It was just an incredible little retreat after dinner or after breakfast. We would just go out there and uh, drink a little bit of coffee and watch the ducks roll in. On our way to Copenhagen, which is another video, we went back to Helsinki by train. 
the whole crew. Lindsay was there, Brad, Nick, Patrick, Aaron, myself. We walked around Helsinki, had a great time. There's a lot of interesting history, a lot of really interesting architecture there. We stopped by this knife shop. This was really cool. They had a lot of really interesting utensils and stuff here. Brad, of course, only looking at the knives. Went to another little fish restaurant, had a few raw plates, had this nice version of a salmon soup that was fantastic. Salmon soup is like one of the main dishes there. This was it. They had that beautiful, delicious broth. They had the salmon cooked perfectly. This dish, this restaurant specifically was very, very good. It was in like a big mall and this was kind of at the top uh, floor of that entire mall and they had just incredible seafood. And then, of course, late night, we had to get a little kebab. Of course, the size of your forearm. That stuff was sitting in our stomach the whole way to Copenhagen. The last thing we did before we left was we went to this kind of outdoors resort called Iloranta. It was a beautiful place kind of in the country just outside of Hamilena. This was after Brad and Nick left to go back to the UK. So it was just Lindsay, myself, and the Fijuses and Aki. And this place was really peaceful, really incredible. Just a nice, wide, open uh, field. Just a great, relaxing place. We got to actually go into a very authentic Finnish smoke sauna. That is when they have the wood-burning oven that smokes out the entire sauna, and then they evacuate all the smoke. And then the heater itself is very hot with the rocks on top. So that's when you're able to get in there and it's nice and hot. And it actually looks and feels like a smokehouse. It feels like you're in a smokehouse in there. It's kind of incredible and ridiculous and all of the things. It's a little bit over 90 degrees Celsius, which is incredibly hot. Um, you know, I really felt like I was a little sausage in this experience because you kind of get cold smoked. And then you go jump into the cold lake, which is like an ice bath. Um, and you kind of just feel like you are like a little sausage. It's just getting smoked and then ice bathed. Of course, you got to have your sauna beers, your sauna drink. A little bit of a long drink or a light beer is very nice to go into the sauna with. This is the only sauna video that we got. The others were not sure about bringing camera into and it's also like a hot and steamy environment so we didn't want to kind of mess anything up i had the gopro in there um, but it's dark it's a little bit smoky it's definitely hot and steamy and the finnish sauna culture is something that definitely needs to come back to the u.s the sauna was just one of the coolest things i've ever been into and i've been like trying to seek out places to do it back in austin because it was so invigorating. I had such a great time. And this is one of the coolest parts. When you throw the water on the rocks and it all just gets all steamy. That uh, really gets it much hotter in there. And it's one of the coolest parts of the entire experience. So after you're in there for a little bit, it's time to get out of there. Everybody's all hot, obviously, sweating my butt off in there. And then the sauna is not just the sauna. you got to go sauna swimming. That's what they call it. Because you get in the sauna... And then you go out and you jump into the lake, the cold, fresh water lake, to where that just like reinvigorates you. This cute little dog was on property the whole time. He's got a, an Instagram. Go follow him. Iloranta Hauho. Very cute little pup. But then it was time to jump into the lake after the hot smoke sauna. This feeling of getting out of that hot sauna into the cold air and then into the cold lake there is really nothing like it and it is so incredible and so invigorating the fresh water just getting out of that hot steamy environment into this fresh water just felt so 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 incredible highly highly recommended i cannot say enough amazing things about finland about aki about miller's barbecue about hamin lena and helsinki we had the most amazing experience there, and I highly recommend getting a chance to go visit Finland. Get yourself in a sauna. Get yourself in the cold lake water. Experience some shit. <laughs>